my dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. Now, the ideal is for you not to sin. You're a believer in Jesus, you better walk a little bit differently, talk a little bit differently, live a little bit differently than you used to. Like, there's a change maker that has showed up in your life and it's to change you, right? He says, I write to you so that you will not sin. But, watch this now. But if anybody does sin, not that you want to, not that you're trying to, not that your heart is inclined to, because that heart of stone is out and there's a heart of flesh in. But should you sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. Do you see this? Like we get so worried that God can never love you. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh no, he loves you. He said he loves you, and he ain't taking that word back. He's faithful to his own. But what if I sin? Ain't? Do you think your sin nullifies the grace of God? You think your sin, you can sin bigger than the love of God? I don't think so. He proved it on the cross. He sent his only beloved son, his only begotten son, to die on that cross. Why? To take all of your sins. Past, present, future. He already knew what you were going to do before you did it. He already knew what you've done that you ain't told no one. He knows. And yet he still sent Jesus. And yet that same Savior comes and rescues you, leaves the 99 and comes for you, the one that's lost. And he's trying to redeem you, set you on his shoulders and walk you back proudly into his family. He ain't embarrassed of you. Don't you be embarrassed of him. He ain't embar- You ain't the least of these. You are everything to him. You sin? Repent, hit them knees, ask for forgiveness, let him speak to your heart, then get up and you go beat the hell out of the devil that's trying to keep you down because you are not meant to be down. You tell him to get behind you because you going forward and he can't be in your way. I'm telling you, you God's got purpose and plans for you. You never imagined, but you ain't going to get to him hanging your head. You ain't going to get to them believing you less. You ain't going to get to them thinking that he can't do his end of the job like he ain't going to uphold his word. I'm telling you, nothing can separate you from the love of God. Not your greatest sin today, tomorrow, or in the future to come. You cannot do anything to separate you from his word over you. And if you have believed in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you got a heart that is still turned that way, I don't care what the mess up is. But if you sin, you got an advocate on your side. He comes to war with you. He comes being the one that represents you. Because when God looks down on you, he ain't looking at you no more. He's looking at the blood of his son. He's looking at the perfect sacrifice.